you know, we're here called for an emergency meeting of, uh, of the CSM to try to come to an agreement with CCP and discuss some of the issues of uh, the uh, controversies, uh, scandal, I guess you'd say, of um, the incarnate deployment, the uh, virtual goods store, mm -hmm. and the various leaks that have been coming from within the company that have inflamed the player base and sort mm -hmm. of, you know, put us into crisis mode. Mm -hmm. I mean, from I guess from our perspective, this is this is about reaching out to our our people, the, the community, to sort of help us get a, an understanding and perspective on 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 their view of what's happened over mm -hmm. the past couple of weeks. Uh, I mean, for us certainly, this has been a uh, hectic hectic couple of weeks, <laughs> yeah. uh, and and, and for us as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and this has been uncharted territory for us. Yeah. I mean, as as we've been discussing over the past couple of right. days, absolutely. For us, this is very much uncharted territory. So uh, for us, it's been uh, invaluable, really, to have the CSM on site to be able to to get this face-to-face -face connection and really to be able to to talk about these issues instead of just this one-way communication path that we have, which is you know forums, forums and back and, and forth. Yeah, yeah. and I, I think that is really crucial because I think that if we hadn't been sent here, I mean, this, this is it's been no party. I mean, it's, oh, yeah. it's been a, <laughs> it's been a work. it has been a gritty, and you can probably see I guess from uh, <laughs> just the the bags under my eyes you know we have been at it for two days straight mm. uh, having uh, I'd say some much more contentious conversations the resolution at the end of it has been good as far as I'm concerned and yeah. as far as the CSM here is concerned but it, it has been contentious at times much more so mm. much more so than the the May summit where everyone sort of no, held hands and sang kumbaya it's, and we were all happy. It's easy, easy to be friends when everything's going swell. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, th there's no real... Uh, I guess the true testament of, of trust and friendship comes when things aren't going so well, which, yeah, yeah. which there are now. So, so uh, we should talk a little bit about the joint statements and mm -hmm. how that came about. Again, I was talking earlier about how we don't want people to feel like the CSM had been co-opted by CCP. The statements are very different in style and tone because mm -hmm. they were written by different groups of people mm -hmm. separately. Yeah. Uh, the uh, CCP left the CSM room mm -hmm. and uh, for a couple of hours we hashed out uh, what I think is a, a very concise statement uh, that reflects the player base's reactions and fears and will hopefully uh, get into that. Now it's very important I think for people to read that because the takeaway yeah. for our efforts of the last two days from a CSM side has really been poured into the yeah. exact verbiage of that document. And, and really you can't describe what has just gone on here in, in a paragraph or in a sound bite or, or in an excerpt of, of those yeah. documents. I think it's important that people realize they have to read through the entire thing yeah. to get a proper sense of context and a proper sense of perspective on what we're actually talking yeah. about. And we were, we were a little mean in our. I'll, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and allow that in the. Uh, you used strong uh, wording. Yeah, so use strong language. It was, it was actually kind of, um, kind of, I wouldn't necessarily say awkward. Maybe a little awkward when we watched uh, the expressions on the faces of the CCPers as they as well, they sure. read our. But statement. I mean, I think it's important to remember that that each party here plays its role. Right. And you guys are playing your role of of keeping us in check mm -hmm. from your standpoint the, very well. The player base was upset, yeah. we were upset. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, attacked those problems and we've come to, I think, an adequate resolution. I, 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 adequate, I think, is a little bit even too, uh, I wouldn't say that everything is hunky-dory, that everything is, is mm -hmm. wonderful, but you know, obviously we wish we weren't here, that none of this had ever happened. Yeah. Um, but I feel like the process has really gotten us a lot of actionable items that CCP can take away from Absolutely. Uh, and uh, help with the situation of the player base and the player base can hopefully through what we've written be reassured as to what they're really afraid about what they're afraid about is is gold ammo and uh, sure. pay to win and all that sort of stuff absolutely and I, I think we established that, that that's uh, not gonna happen that's yeah. not gonna happen yeah. this is not the, the direction or no, plan for, C for the, CCP to take the, there are no plans we saw no plans for that sort of thing in May you see no plans for that now it is just unfortunate luck for CCP that there is the leak of the fearless newsletter that mm. set all this nonsense off. Yeah. That the timing of that with the monocle, the, the, the sure. not enough low end prices and the, the uh, sure. I mean, this is, again, I mean, this is a perfect storm of yep. bad luck, bad, bad timing, luck, bad, bad timing. communication. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's something we have to work on. Yeah.
the contention. We I think yeah. we should talk a, again a bit how uh, you know the player base has uh, a lot of times because they don't know how the CSM thing works. Mm -hmm. There are fears, uh, even though. I think my credibility in, in going against CCP in the past has been pretty well proven with that whole pesky thread knot thing. Yeah. There are fears in some uh, in, in some areas that uh, we would just come up here and get co-opted, mm. and uh, you know you'd whine us, dine us, and then suddenly sure. we'd say, "Sure, you can sell anything you want for Arum." Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so and we should I, talk about that a bit. I actually have I have to say, uh, I mean, like I said, you guys basically came here at the drop of a hat. Uh, you had, what, four days advance notice, basically, that, that we were yeah. summoning you here. Four you, days, more, more like three. Yeah. Three it days. Was, it was really, I mean, we sort of knew. Three days in a plane ride. Yeah, <laughs> w w w when things began, we sort of had the feeling that we were going to get called to Reykjavik. Yeah. I just had that sense. And I have to say, uh, in those three days, uh, I don't know if you prepped before or, or whatever, but in those three days, it's amazing to see the amount of preparation that you put into this individually. And while it's obvious, I mean, you haven't fully synced up, and, and thankfully, because the CSM is a, is a, a delegate council, mm -hmm. it's good to see that there are still differing opinions on the council. So there is some amount of, of you know, I wouldn't say arguing, but communication within you that, that had you had more time would probably have happened before. It's but a slightly it is, different CSM because yeah. we have more alternates this yeah. time around. But it is good also to see that you guys came out strong and in force on the big topics, on the on the virtual goods, uh, what's on the table, what's off the table, on you know incarnations and how to deal with that, and on communications issue. Yeah, you guys came out as as one, and it was sort of it's an interesting dynamic to see <laughs> that you guys were able to really just you know cement around a specific viewpoint. Mm -hmm. We and, have and and uphold that, and and I have to say it's been. It's been refreshing. <laughs> it's been <laughs> well. It's I mean, been challenging, and it's been at times difficult to sort of to face this. Uh, at times, wall of unity, squad. firing yeah. squad, wall of unity. Yeah. That that sort of wall of unity. Well, wall I mean, of unity it, 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 from a certain perspective, uh, and this is something that people who aren't actually at the summits might not realize. And I'm afraid that for the CCP employees, for some of them who have actually been up in front of us, they mm -hmm. they haven't understood this because we're all there on our laptops. Yeah. And we might look like we're just taking notes, but what's actually happening uh, is we're talking to each other on Skype and mm. we're coordinating our responses such that, mm -hmm. ideally speaking, we'd be as effective as possible. Yeah. Um, it was, uh, I, I, I would think that anyone who lines up our statements yeah. together, reads the CCP response and reads the CSM response, mm -hmm. will hopefully come away from that understanding that uh, we threw many, many, many punches, which is not necessarily easy considering how many large Vikings there are here. I mean, you know, Arnar is a very tall guy and Peter is gigantic. Um, Peter is, is, is gigantic. He, he, yeah, I mean, he's, he's really a massive human big. being. Uh, but, you know, it was, we were not nice. I mean, we were, no, we no. were civilized and, sometimes. And while, I mean, and while this conversation, we can have this conversation now, two right. days into the meeting, this is not a conversation we could have two days ago. No, no, because no. Because there were simply unresolved issues yeah. that caused tension. Yesterday that, evening was, uh, yesterday afternoon uh, it was, was particularly, that was really, that was the, the gritty and, bits. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's, it's good to know that, that you have people that, I mean, it's and not good to know, it's, it's, Obvious. The CSM is not uh, a group of yes men or people that we bring over to wine and dine. I mean, these were difficult discussions, and uh, it's kind of. I've, this sounds a bit silly, even as I'm saying oh it, God. because this All is right. a, an internet spaceship, serious business kind of thing. But yes, it's very really. I mean, we we negotiated. We really negotiated to hammering out compromises yeah, and yeah. really trying to delineate because the the issue of virtual goods is mm. so complex mm. and. One of the things that I dislike about the debate, mm. uh, not amongst ourselves, but in general, uh, is that it is too easy to take a, um, a bright line yeah, yeah, scenario. Yeah. Uh, obviously, I don't like gold ammo, I don't like the idea of gold ships, and there is no indications of that happening from CCP, mm. none whatsoever, and we're trying to calm uh, <laughs> that sort of... The, the crisis wasn't really so much the crisis of what happened on its face, there was always this specter of what people feared was going Absolutely. to happen, right? Um, and, and so, uh, you know, when we had really dug deep into the discussions for hours of you know, the, the virtual goods business finally brought out of it, I think, a very clear statement from CCP mm. uh, as to their views that yeah. uh, you should never be able to uh, 
by it? by unfair advantage well, mm -hmm. uh, with time rather than with with money rather than time. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But I think we we came to a, a very good conclusion, and more importantly than having a good soundbite to to give people, it's important that people realize that we have a mutual understanding of what lies behind that action points. Yeah. I mean, you know, after this, you know, we're going to part ways, and there are going to be things that CCP is going to be doing, yeah. uh, in, particularly in the realm of, of dev blogs and communications, mm. uh, to really get in front of the concerns yeah. of the player players. They've been trying to do that by having us here mm. and discussing privately, mm. um, but, you know, we, we have very clearly identified areas, and CCP has agreed to, uh, to, to talk about, yeah, yeah to, to improve, and. Uh, come out with blogs addressing these and particular I, issues. After, after having gone through these two days, I'm, uh, I know that you're going to hold us accountable on those things, I, and that is good I, to know. Yeah, well, I am. That's what I'm here for. <laughs>